this is my room three or three then i'm heading to um heading to april um, i ordered doordash through doordash on 95 degrees because i'm craving for the jasmine sea salt tea green tea and she's she just woke up she said that she's not feeling she, no she's been sleeping a lot and that's you know the infection her her body is fighting the infection right now so i gotta take care of her she took care of me okay let's go so here she is so 311 it's not Well, I'm vlogging again. We're not gonna remove over. So she took care of me when I was really, really sick. Sorry, I was really sick. She was the first. Actually, she was the first one who came, who brought food and uh, fruit. Uh, no, no, food, drinks, medicine. She was the first one. Um, she bit rum for a couple of hours. Rum came after like at night time so i gotta take care of my nurse april because she took care of me when i was really really sick and i was really i haven't eaten like how many days when you brought that food it was a couple of days before. yeah but you know what even though because my, my taste that time like four or five days already like I, I, just, I was just drinking um drinking fluids gatorade and water but you know oh my I didn't even realize it that it was started that day that um you know the taste bud you know most of people did i tell you already my taste bud is different from other people no so re remember all most of the people that got it has a loss of taste and smell mm -hmm. mine it didn't um does the a salty taste was heightened mm -hmm. like up to yang yang so you brought me the food um, I said I know you say I said it's good. Did I say it's good? Right, <laughs> or I it, ate. It looks good. It looks good. And I ate. Gonna try to eat it. Yeah. So first mm -hmm. bite, it was like a salt. I was like eating a block block of salt. But I had to eat because I know I need that my body needs it because I've been having a uh, diarrhea. And all I'm having is Gatorade water. And then the Gatorade the, that you gave me, it's um regular it's not diabetic mm -hmm. but i drank it still because you know i need this sugar right mm -hmm. now yeah. so um so thank you april yeah, yeah. i really you really welcome. appreciate you guys um mm -hmm. the first day that i was discharged or the second day from the hospital i was really emotional and crying mm -hmm. and i was like listening because i know that i have a short-term memory already mm -hmm. so i have to because of the infection so i have to write everything that you guys did Oh, I have to itemize everything and then I feel like I'm doing like um, a diary mm -hmm. that's a a lot of text that I sent you guys yeah so that's the one I was like really emotional and crying mm -hmm. and I said without you guys I don't know what I'm gonna do because you know I don't have a I don't have any means of, of going out even though and then um even though if you order I'm not gonna be able to order every day three times a day two times a day because our breakfast is, is free Mm -hmm. So I want to be able to order two, two times a day for the how many how many weeks I'm gonna be depleted. Plus we're gonna be keep paying our parking here, yeah. which is what twenty two dollars mm -hmm. per night, and then mine is times twenty eight. I already computed it because I wanna see my budget. Mm -hmm. So it's twenty two dollars times twenty eight is I think six hundred sixty one plus ten percent tax, which is six something. It's almost seven hundred dollars. I'm it's almost seven hundred dollars, and I said, I need to to save like this seven hundred dollars. I cannot buy food, mm -hmm. so it it was so overwhelming with all of you guys, that that group, mm -hmm. all of you guys like sent me food, door dashing. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know where did Will ordered, but she ordered me a Filipino um, um sour soup. Mm -hmm. Plus um, the meatball bun. I don't know who she where she ordered, but it's a it's called a called deluxe restaurant. So I was like, oh my god, can you imagine all of that food? And then I didn't did I tell you that my um, previous MDS consultant, 
which is my boss in San Diego. But she lives near here. I think she lives by Laguna. Is it Laguna Niguel? Um, yeah. Yeah, she, I think she lives that by the area. When she found out that I was hospitalized and was, I was just discharged that Saturday, um, she went to Filipino store, bought a lot of food, and then she cooked until 4.30 a.m. She cooked like 12 kinds of um, um, food, and I just put it in the freezer. And then that's what I've been eating since um, the first week that I was discharged. Mm -hmm. So she did that. 12, 12 um, kinds of food until 4.30 a.m. So anyway, um, okay. Feel okay, nice. better, okay? okay. Um, you've been sleeping because your body is, is fighting the infection right now. Mm -hmm. Drinks a lot of water. Yeah. Okay. If, if you develop a fever, don't take any Tylenol. Because we need to know what is your fever, the real fever. Mm -hmm. So don't take any Tylenol. Let me know if you go to 1 or 101. I'll teach you what you're going to do and I'll teach you how are we going to go to the ER without them sending you back? Okay? Okay. All right. <laughs> Bye, Thank loves. You. Okay, so Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. Enjoy your food. Oh, thank you. Mm-hmm.